Okay, this is on rectangular prisms and how to find the surface area and the volume of rectangular prisms. First, let's talk about the different parts of a prism. The faces of the prism of a prism are the rectangles that are folded up to create the figure. You've got your base faces. Usually those are going to be on the top and bottom. Those are the two red ones. Now with a rectangular prism, all of this is interchangeable. You could turn this on the side and some other faces would be the base faces, but usually it's going to be the top and bottom. They're going to be parallel to each other. All opposite faces are going to be parallel to each other in a prism. And then we have lateral faces. Lateral faces are the ones going around. Like if you're in a classroom, the walls would be considered the lateral faces holding up the ceiling and the floor. You've got your side faces. Those are the blue ones. You've got your front and back faces. Now let's talk about measurements of a prism. This is a three-dimensional figure, so there's going to be three measurements. You've got a side to side and up and down, and then a depth, you know, back and forth. That's that third dimension. We're going to call them length, width, and height. The length, in this case, is the side-to-side -side measurement. The height is the up and down. The width, the width would be the depth. The height is always going to be perpendicular to the base faces. Notice how the height hits those base faces at a 90-degree angle. So to find volume, this one's pretty easy. Volume is the amount of space something occupies can be considered how much something can hold and it's going to be length times width times height. Volume equals LWH, length times width times height. In this case it's going to be 12 times 8 times 6 and you just multiply it out. 576 cubic centimeters. Volume is always measured in cubic units. How many little centimeter cubes could you fit inside that figure? That's a lot. So that's volume. You take your three dimensions and you multiply them. It gets a little more complicated with surface area. Surface area is how much to cover the object. Think wrapping paper. And for surface area, you have this, 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. L stands for length, W stands for width, H is height. So when we set it up, we're doing our substitution. We've got this 2 times 5 times 8. So I'm going to mark these with the blue ones. Do you see the bottom face and the top face? There's two of them. That's why I'm having the two in front. I'm finding the area of one of the rectangles, then doubling it. So then we have a 5 by 6 rectangle. That's the front and back. Those are those two faces. And then we have the 8 by 6. Those are our side faces that we're going to. And then what we do is multiply them out. 2 times 5 times 8. You write down the answer. 2 times 5 times 6. That gives you the 60. 2 times 8 times 6 gives you the 96. Then you add them up, and you're done. Now these are in square units, 236 square units, because they're saying how many little centimeters squared could you cover this figure in. So that's surface area. We're going to do one more example of surface area. So we've got a box or a prism, rectangular prism. Here are the measurements, and here is the formula. When we do our setup, we're going to plug them in. We've got the 3 by 2 top and bottom. And then we've got the 3 by 4, which is the back and front. And then we have the 2 by 4, which is going to be the side faces. So after you at multiply them out, you add them up, and you get that. So 52 square centimeters would cover this figure. That's about it.